This Excel table contains the age, gender of the customer, and the amount they spend on travel from survey data. And for this example, we want to use a pivot table to summarize the customer profiles and their spend on travel. So start with insert, pivot table, and then click OK. So now we have a new pivot table. Let's rename this. Pivot 7. So on this pivot table, we're going to put age into the rows, drag age into rows, and gender into columns. And then we're going to summarize the amount they spend on travel. Dragging amount spent on travel into the values. So as you see here, the default that the pivot table gives you is not always what you want. Currently, it's calculating the sum, but I want to calculate the average. So click left click on that, and it will give you value field settings. Click on that. As you see here, there are multiple options. You can show sum, count, average, max, mean, you can also show the product is multiplication, basically, and various variance var measurements. So for this case, we want the average of spending. And choose average, and click OK. So now we have the numbers, and uh, they have more digits than we want. Let's select this, and let's shrink the number of digits, go to home, and then Click on this, reduce the number of digits. Now we have the rounded dollar values. And for this pivot table, the first thing we notice is it really is not very helpful because there are so many different ages from this data. We still don't have a good sense of how age is related to travel spending. Uh, we can see some rough trend here, the number is getting bigger with age. Instead of using the raw age, pivot table offers a very convenient function to group the ages. Right click, and then you're going to see one of the options being group and group. So choose click on group. So now it's going to ask you about grouping the different ages, and the default option is we start at 25, we end at 64. So this is the smallest age in this data, and this is the largest age in this data. And the space of this is 10. So when you choose this, of course, you can make modifications of it. We can change this to 5. So each block is 5 years. And what it's going to do is it's going to do 25 to 29, and 30 to 34, etc. So let's click OK. So as you see here, it has grouped the ages into different groups. And then we can actually change this. Right click, group. We can change this from 5 to 10. So it's 10 years per age group. And then click OK. So now we have the different age groups and the genders. So female, male. These are the travel spend dollar values. If we conditional format this, select that, conditional format, color skills, and choose this. Now we can instantly see that from this data, there's a slightly different trend where females travel related spending increases with age. For male, travel related spending actually decreases with age. That concludes this video.